Hi guys, uh, so I wanted to make this quick video because uh, <laughs> a video within a video here because um, you guys probably see this uh, uh, screen in the background uh, that I uh, well I, I just wanted to show you the data a little more up close if you wanted to get a look at it. Um, the, the big idea is really in the general trend that, that you're seeing here but uh, uh, if you wanted to get a better look at it, that's what this video is for. So the video, the motion that the video is doing is essentially, it's essentially what happens here with fan cards. You push, the thing starts recording data, it's positioned, it slows down, comes to a stop, and then it moves all the way back like that. So that's, that's kind of the, what, what's happening. So it's slowing down, it's being pushed, it gets slowed down to a stop, and then, and then, uh, uh, and it's after the push that, that it starts recording data. So, okay, let's, uh, let's look at what this actually looks like. Um, so those of you who want to actually play around with the file, I'm going to open up um, Graphical Analysis 4, which I think is this. So it's going to open up, and then I'm going to go to Choose File and the file I'm going to choose, it's in my downloads, is Fancart, so you can download that from Schoology and play with it. It'll give you this position data. Um, if you go down to these, so here's the position data. Again, the cart was going up, or it was, was moving, but it was slowing down. It stopped, and then it moved the opposite direction. So, uh, and let's see, I'm going to do, the, uh, I clicked on these three dots down here. I'm going to click on tangent. Let's make this a little bigger. Uh, you even got all the data over here you can play around with, so I'm going to turn it to tangent. And then if you click on the graph itself, you get that tangent line that you saw with me uh, teaching in class. So once again, you can see the slope. This is similar to what you guys did with your uh, pivot interactive lab with the dry ice puck down the ramp. So at this position, at this time, the object is at this position, 0 0.159 meters, and the slope is... Uh, which is the velocity, right? The slope of a position time graph is the velocity is 0.453 meters per second. And as I move along, you can see the slope is decreasing, right? The slope is getting, so the position's getting greater as time goes on, but the slope is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You can see that visually, but you can also see it on the, uh, 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 in, in the value itself until you reach here where the slope of the tangent line to the curve here is essentially 0 0.00306. I mean, that's essentially zero, right? And then, then you can see the slope becomes negative after that. So it becomes negative after that. And if you, so if we were to then take this, you know, position function right here and to graph all of those slope data, just like you did in your pivot interactive, right? If we were to just graph all of these slope data against time, it would look like this. So I'm gonna change the vertical axis to uh, uh, velocity versus time. So on this axis is both position and velocity versus time. This straight line here is velocity. This curved line is the position. So, but I want you to see, look at the slope here, right? The slope of the position time graph is, uh, let, let's start it back here, right? The slope of this position, let's put it kind of here. The slope of the position time graph here is 0 0.332 meters per second. And if you look at the velocity versus time graph, that's the value of the velocity time graph is 0 0.332 meters per second. As I move this along, the slope of this graph of, of the position time graph now is 0 0.241 meters per second. And that's the value of the velocity time graph, right? because the uh, velocity is the slope of a position time graph. And sure enough, when we reach that zero mark again, right about there, yep, right about there. So we reach zero, the slope is zero here at this uh, position at this time at 2.86 seconds. And sure enough, the velocity, the value of the velocity is zero, and that even brings it to a negative velocity then after that, negative 0 0.160 meters per second. and Sure enough, zero, negative 0 0.160 meters per second here. Now, what about the slope of a velocity versus time graph? That's kind of what we're whoop. That's kind of what we're seeing here. Well, the slope of a velocity versus time graph gives me the acceleration. 
But as I was saying, you can see the, the this velocity versus time graph is kind of bumpy, right? That's because the cart's kind of jittering back and forth and back and forth and back and forth very slightly, and it's picking up those little inconsistencies. But overall, you can see a general trend of a straight line. And so now I'm going to graph the acceleration. So now this graph has position, velocity, and acceleration versus time. You can see the, the acceleration is much more jittery. Um, but the overall average here is about what? What, what am I getting for the overall slope here, the overall average? Uh, it's looking like, so, and, and I mean the slope of the velocity versus time. So the overall slope of the velocity versus time graph is looking like it's about 0 0.16 or something, negative 0 0.16. And that's kind of what we get right here. The value right here is negative 0 0.16, and that's where it's kind of that best fit line across there like that. So that's kind of the idea, and, and this is the idea with derivatives. The derivative or the uh, instantaneous velocity, uh, the instantaneous slope of a position time graph is the velocity. And the derivative or the instantaneous slope of a velocity versus time graph gives you the acceleration, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, well, not et cetera, we'll stop there. We're not gonna go any further than that. Uh, uh, but yeah, that kind of, kind of, uh, I, I like the visual that it shows you there. Okay, gonna stop now, bye.